What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider Gold Trust with the ticker symbol GLD. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go for what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So this viewer was very, very generous and they left a large donation and they requested 10 stocks for me to do. So in the coming days and weeks, I'll be mostly focusing on that before I can do other requests. So let's take a look at the GLD stock or this gold trust, whatever it is, ETF or something. It just follows the gold price and it's um, a way for people to have some gold in their portfolio without having physical possession of the actual gold. So you can invest in the GLD and, you know, gold in the lo long term is going to be probably the safest investments in the coming uh, years. So I only see upside for um, gold and whatever else follows it. So let's take a look at the chart and you can see that we've been going sideways since June of last year so it's very hard to predict when this thing will break out because we could just be going sideways for an entire year all the way till this June of this year so we did have a couple breakouts but they did fail and price action fell back inside of the range you can see there was a failed breakout here another failed breakout here and Prices have been just stabilizing inside of this um, range where the highs are the $171 level and it looks like the lows are at the $161 level. So it's a 10 point range. Um, there's another pattern in play, however. You can see that since we had those failed breakouts, price action failed or did not come to the lower side of the range like over here at the $161 level. Normally, when we do get these breakouts, uh, that usually leads to a breakout on the opposite side of the range. So I'm surprised we didn't do that. And with further inspection, you can see that there's a trend line that's working higher, that's supporting prices. You can see we got a bounce here, we got a bounce here, and recently we just got a bounce here back on January 28th. So um, we could be coming to a converging point because there's two patterns working against each other you, you have the range resistance at the 171 dollar level however you have this channel working higher so we could do could be doing something like this before one of the um supports give out and then we either break to the uh, downside or to the upside so i don't know which way it's going to break um i want it to break to the lower side so it can be cheaper uh, to purchase because Obviously, in the long term, it's probably just going to go higher and higher. A uh, lot of inflation coming up uh, in the coming years. So I'm pretty sure this will be an inflation hedge. So it'd be nice to pick up some cheap um, value. But it can also break to the upside. So uh, it's kind of a coin toss. I'm leaning more towards the downside because the prevailing trend was down. It looks like we went down and now we're just consolidating. So we could just be uh, have a fail breakout lower here. Uh, but that fail breakout probably will lead to higher prices because the major uptrend is still intact. And this this just looks like a minor pullback. But in the short term, probably in the next six months to a year, I'm expecting prices to fall uh, before seeing another massive rally. So let me zoom in on the chart. Let's go ahead and do some price targets. Uh, where can prices go if it does uh, move? And I see that this measured move can play out. You see that this was the first leg down right here. And then we had a pullback and this would be the second leg down, which is right at the $162 level. There's also another measured move that points at the same target. You can see that was the first leg down. We had a pullback and this could be the second leg down. So it's right at the same target. So that's some confluence. So there's multiple reasons why prices can go here. That's why I'm leading more towards the downside, especially since we had two breakouts here. So, and this channel is kind of weak uh, going up. It's not really at a 45 degree angle. It's kind of like a 25 to 30 degree angle. So it's not strong. So I'm just weighing um, the bullish and bearish signs. I'm, I see more bearish signs on the chart than bullish signs. So um, that's why I'm more uh, 
leaning towards the bear side. Uh, that's my bias. However, let's just say we do break out to the upside. Where can we go? This would be the first leg up right here. And this all just would be a correction and we could be in the process of making the second leg. And the second leg points right at the $177 level. And I believe there's another measured move right here. That would be the first leg up. This would be the second leg up. And this one's right at the $175 level. So there's some confluence here. And we do have space to go up here. Uh, we're just getting rejected from the uh, range highs. So that's why we haven't been up to the upper side of the channel. So like I said before, it's just hard to tell which way it's going to break out. I'm just leaning more towards the bears. Uh, but we could also break up, break out to the upside. So there's a 40% chance for upside breakout, 60% to the lower side. Um, I believe there's another, there's a lot of measured, mo measured moves on the chart. And usually when we do a break outside of a range, we usually move. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a successful breakout of the range, and we trend outside of it, we can easily reach the $181 level. But if we do break out to the lower side and we start continuing lower, we can reach the $151 level. And there's another measured move I see in play. This is a large one. I don't know if we're gonna reach this target. Um, I don't know if gold is that bearish, but let's just take a look at it. Sometimes they do happen, sometimes they don't, but we can't ignore it. So it's right at the $141 level. So I don't know if GLD is going to drop that much down. And that's quite of a big drop for the GLD or gold. So there's something to pay attention to, but I doubt we can reach that level, but it's something technically possible. So you can see that there is some type of support here, a very strong one at the $157 level. And we had a little double bottom and prices have not come back to that level since. So um like i said it's a coin toss for where we're going obviously in the coming years and decades it's only going to be up there's like a 99 percent chance gold is going to continue higher um just a very safe asset to own but in the meantime i'm just looking for a breakdown first uh before a, a move up so that's what i'm predicting um there is another thing on the daily chart i want to show you guys so like I said, there's two panel, uh, two excuse me, two patterns converging against one another, and I gave you the price targets. If we do get a breakout to the upper side or the lower side, I'm expecting the lower side, but we could just as easily break out to the upper side. So let me show you this one last thing on the daily chart before we take a look at the weekly chart. So you can see that prices have been going sideways since pretty much June, and it kind of looks like a triangle pattern. I don't really believe in triangles, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See, this is kind of like a wedge forming in the market where we have this trend line holding prices up however there's also a downtrend line uh, rejecting prices lower so it's kind of like price action is getting squeezed so we're getting closer and closer to the point where we either have a massive move up or a massive move down i have also seen patterns where they have this wedge pattern and just, they just continue to trend sideways and they ignore the wedge so that's another uh, thing that could play out but I'm expecting a breakout. You can see how this is getting uh, tighter and tighter and it's getting compressed. So we're going to either have a breakout fairly soon. If I move my cursor, uh, probably where to the point will be is like the second quarter of this year. So I'm expecting a move from gold then. But we can also get one before. But if we don't, then we're probably going to get it in quarter two. So let's go and take a look at the weekly chart before we wrap it all up. So here's the weekly chart and like i said i'm very bullish in the long term it's the um, a very safe asset to own um, if you don't want to take physical possession you own the gld or some mining company so you can see that we had a massive move up uh, that could be the first leg up and then we could be potentially in the formation of the second leg and if we do do that where are we going you can see that the target i have for the gld is right at the 243 dollar level let's put a horizontal line right there and there's also another massive move up that we can make. You can see that this is pretty much the starting point for this up move. So that's where we're going to do the measured move. And we had a pullback. And if the lows of the pullback are at the 156 level, and now we start seeing a rally, then there's some confluence to this as well. So it's right at the 240 level. So there's reasons, like I said, uh, macro reasons for prices to continue higher on the technicals. But in the meantime, I'm expecting one more push down on the 
uh, m minor level uh, before seeing these um, prices. So it looks like these targets, if we continue at the same uh, thrust up or this angle, we could probably reach these targets uh, end of this year or the mid of 2023. So that's all I have for the GLD. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to del deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.